A speaker is elected in the House of Commons at the beginning of each parliament. The House can't begin its business until this is done. The election of a speaker is done by preferential ranked ballot. All MPs in the House are considered for the position but may withdraw their name up to the minute the vote is held. The vote is presided over by the Dean of the House, the MP with the longest consecutive time spent serving in the House. MPs will mark their ballots by marking one next to their first choice, two next to their second, and so forth. They may rank as many candidates as they wish. They place these ballots in boxes in front of the Speaker's chair. The ballots will then be counted by the clerks. Ballots are tallied, and if no one candidate receives more than 50% of the vote, the candidate with the lowest number of votes is eliminated, and those votes are redistributed to the second marked choice. This continues until one candidate has accumulated 50% of the votes and is declared the winner. The name of the new speaker is then announced to the House and they are physically dragged to the chair. This tradition stems from the early British parliamentary system, where the speaker was the messenger between the House and the reigning monarch. If the monarch didn't agree with the speaker's messages, it could result in an early death for the speaker. Once the speaker has taken his or her place on the chair at the front of the House of Commons, congratulatory remarks are offered by members of Parliament. Following this, the speech from the throne is read and parliamentary business begins.